Hey everyone, just a really quick short video, something I should have mentioned when we transferred over to using the Teensy. When it comes to powering this little guy externally, which we do through the VIN pin, you are not supposed to also connect something to the USB port while powering it externally because you do risk passing power up the USB cable to whatever device is connected. Uh, so they do, though, provide on the back side of the, the Teensy, the same side as the USB port. If we look at the microscope here, see if I can do this and hold it steady and shoot the camera at the same time. This one I did kind of a hack job on. You can see I just tore right into it. But there is a little connector between those two square pads that you need to cut. Okay, let's take a look at this one. This one's a little cleaner. Where are you at? Okay, and focus. There we go. So you can see those two little nubs between those two pads. That needs to be cut. In our case, we do connect the Teensy to external power from the VIN pin, and then we do connect the USB to program it. So you need to cut those two pads to save your laptop. Now, side note, in the past, when I was building my CNC slash laser engraver, I was not using a Tinsy, I was using a Mega, I believe, but I did have power issues and did manage to blow up my USB port in my laptop. However, all I needed to do after some Googling with my model number of my laptop was hold down the power button, I think it was a good 20, 30 seconds, which discharged the capacitors for the USB, and then my PC booted back up. So it's not gonna kill your PC if it's an, of a newer generation PC, but still, cut those tracks, guys, and we'll be in business. All right, stay tuned, like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.